Hola, today we have a full body yoga pilates workout for strengthening your whole body. When you're ready, come to the back of your mat, stand up tall, and inhale, circle your arms to the sky. Exhale, dive forward, inhale, flat back, and exhale, bend your knee and roll your spine all the way to standing. Head gets up at last. Inhale, arms to the sky. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back. And exhale, bend your knees, roll your spine all the way up. You're going to do two more at your own pace. Go with the breath. This is going to be a strong practice, so we want to warm up our back very good and our arms. So be very mindful of your movement right now. Inhale, arms to the sky. Exhale, dive forward from your hips. Inhale, flat back. And exhale, bend your knees, roll all the way up. Inhale, arms to the sky. This time, grab your left wrist with your right hand. Inhale there, and exhale, side bend to your right. Open your chest, roll your shoulders down, hips are still. And breathe through your side body. Inhale, back to center. And exhale, side bend to the other side. Feel the nice stretch on the side of your body. Both feet are rooted. And shoulders are away from the ears. Inhale back to center and exhale, hands to the sides. I'm going to walk so you can see me. You stay where you are. Inhale there and exhale, side bend to your right. Inhale center and exhale to the other side. Keep going. There's a couple of things we want to pay attention here. Arms are opposing each other. One is reaching overhead while the other one is reaching below us and our hips are still completely uh, our legs and our hips are not moving at all so we're using our obliques to bend inhale back to center exhale to the left inhale center and exhale relax your arms good i'm going back to the back of my mat inhale Circle your arms all the way to the sky and exhale, hinge from your hips. Walk your hands forward to a downward facing dog. You can move here in any way that makes you feel good. You can bend one knee, then the other one. Just make sure you're pressing strong through your arms and your shoulder blades are engaged. And when you're ready, come to stillness. Inhale, lift your heels up, look to your belly bottom and go all the way to plank, rounding your back. And exhale, arch your back, hips lead you to downward facing dog. Spinal waves. When we go forward, we round our back. When we go back, we open our chest, we arch our back. Inhale, on our way to plank. And exhale, on our way to downward dog. Just a few more. Make sure you're articulating every vertebra in your body. Try to feel every vertebra moving. One more. And stay in plank. Inhale and exhale. Bend your knees. Go back. Inhale all the way to plank. Exhale. Bend your knees. Go back. Inhale. Shoot to plank. Three more at your own pace. Make sure your core is engaged, your shoulders are engaged too, and you're pressing strongly through all 10 knuckles. That was the last one. Now bend your knees, walk your feet a little bit closer to your hands, knees in line with your hips, and we hold here for 30 seconds. Bear hold. Navel is lifting up towards your spine, your neck is in line with the rest of your spine too. Eyes of the elbow facing each other to avoid putting too much pressure on your joints. And breathe. We're almost there. Don't hold your breath. 
big inhale and exhale knees to the floor anchor your toes and inhale lift your right leg back up very straight toes pointed exhale knee to tricep inhale back exhale knee to tricep we're doing eight more of these you can continue at your own pace make sure you're not arching your back when you're taking your leg back and when you're bringing your knee forward you're crunching from your core feel your core in every exhale reach back with your toes just a few more last one bend your knee flex your foot and we go with donkey kicks that's one exhale down inhale up two three four keep going six more only thing moving here is your and when you go up you squeeze your butt be careful with your lower back lower back is not moving we have two more last one point your toes and pulses two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten more nine seven six five four three two one keep your knee lifted and now open to the side exhale open inhale up the idea is that you keep your knee always at the same height but when we open to the side, we are externally rotating our hips. So sometimes that won't happen. That won't happen for some of us. But just try to keep your knee as high as you can. We have just a few more. I was really feeling that exercise at that point. Last one. But this is not over. Curl your left toes and inhale. Go all the way back up to three-legged dog big inhale there and exhale half circle to the floor inhale half circle up keep going imagine that you're drawing that half circle with your toes those are very pointed and leg is straight as straight as you can just one more inhale up and exhale right foot between your hands on an inhale lift your toes up for high lunge and we're doing some static lunges here hands in prayer in the center of your heart and down one exhale two exhale three keep going tailbone is drawn towards the floor, your core is still engaged, your back is straight, and knees in line with your ankles. Make sure you're lifting your arches from the floor. Just two more. And last one. Stretch your back leg, and on an inhale, lift up to warrior two. Lots of balance here. Exhale land with control lunge and inhale up to warrior three keep going you can be at your own pace this is a very challenging movement and i know i was feeling my glutes burn inhale up and last one up hold it for a second and step your feet together hip distance apart inhale chair pose exhale hands to heart center get high on your toes inhale extend your legs arms to the sky stay on your toes and exhale inhale chair pose heels to the ground exhale hands in prayer heels of the ground inhale reach the sky and exhale inhale chair pose exhale hands to heart center inhale go all the way up and exhale and start over again just two more at your own pace 
You're doing great. This is a challenging exercise for your coordination and balance. Last one, extend your arms to the sky and exhale, fold all the way down. That was beautiful. On your inhale, go to plank, exhale, chaturanga, inhale, up dog, and exhale, down dog. Step your right foot between your hands, back knee to the floor, uncurl your toes, inhale, lift your arms up for low lunge, and take a moment here to slow your heartbeat down and stretch your hips and quadriceps. On an exhale, hands to the floor, walk your right foot a little bit to your right with your toes pointing out. You can stay in your hands or get down to your forearms for lizard pose. Stretch like this feels very nice after all the hard work you just did. And get ready because we have another side to do and it's coming. Get back to your arms if you were in your forearms, frame your foot. And on an inhale, swipe your right leg up all the way. Open your hips, foot to floor. Bend your knees to tabletops for the other side. You know what's coming. Inhale, lift your left leg up and exhale, knee to tricep. Inhale back, exhale, knee to tricep. Keep going, we have eight more. Remember to crunch with your core and keep your lower back as stable as you can. We're working with the arms a little bit here too, so press the floor strongly. We have five more if I'm correct. Exhale, tricep, inhale, back. Exhale, inhale, back. Keep going. Last one. Stretch your leg back, bend your knee, flex your foot. We inhale there and exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Imagine you are moving your leg through honey. Put some resistance with your own body weight. This way the exercise will feel more intense and it will be also more effective. Just a few more here. Last one, point your toes and pulse three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten more, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One more. <laughs> Open your hips to the side and up, side and up. Exhale and in. This exercise is really intense. I was really feeling it at that moment. This always kills me. We have a few more of this and then you know what's coming. Open and up, open and curl your right toes and lift up to three-legged dog. Left leg is straight. Inhale there and exhale, draw your half circle with your toes. Inhale up and down. Keep going. This is a very strong combo. Just two more. Last one. And step your left foot between your hands for your high lunge. Inhale, lift your torso up, exhale, hands to your chest, inhale there, and exhale, bend your knee, inhale up, exhale down, inhale up. We have eight more, seven, <laughs> yeah, that was seven, six, five, keep going. I'm having trouble counting. That's four, three, two, last one. Stretch your back leg, 
and inhale, water three. Exhale, very controlled lunge and inhale back up. We have a few more of these. It doesn't matter if you just do one. The important thing here is that you control your movement. You control your body. Go up with control, go down with control. And when you get to warrior three, make sure you have a long, long straight line from your toes to the crown of your head. Last one and step your feet together. Last exercise from this leg series. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, hands to heart, lift your heels. Inhale, all the way up and exhale. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, hands to heart, lift your heels. Inhale, all the way up, exhale. Inhale, chair pose and keep going. Lots of coordination too and balance. It is very hard to stay in your toes when you go all the way up. Last one. And exhale, heels to the ground, stay up. Inhale, circle your arms to the sky. Exhale, dive forward. Go to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, upward facing dog. Step your left foot between your hands, lower your knee down, uncurl your toes, and on an inhale, lift your arms towards the sky, press your hips gently forward. This feels very nice as after all we did. Breathe deeply, calm your breath, and exhale, hands to the floor. Walk your left foot a little bit to the left, toes pointing out. Stay in your hands or go down to your forearms for lizard pose. Calm your breath and take a minute to relax. Open your hips. Get back up to your hands, curl your back toes and lift your knee from the ground. Inhale, swipe your left leg all the way back, open your hip and exhale leg to the floor. Inhale, plank and exhale, Bend your elbows, slowly make your way down to laying on your belly. Core is engaged and elbows close to your ribs. Uncurl your toes and extend your arms in front of you. Inhale, lift your arms and legs, exhale, squeeze your elbows together. Inhale, extend your arms, exhale, relax your legs and arms to the floor. Keep going, inhale, lift everything up. Exhale, elbows to heels. Inhale, extend your arms. Exhale, go with control to the floor. Keep going. If you have a sensitive lower back, you can leave your legs grounded all the time. If not, lift them strongly, pointing your toes. If possible, keep your legs together. We, we have just three more of these. That's three. And two. Inhale up. Exhale, squeeze, inhale in front of you, and exhale, let's go. One more. And everything goes to the floor. Place your forehead on top of your hands. Inhale, legs up with your toes pointed, and tap your heels. Tap, 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 tap. Try to make space here between your belly bottom and the ground. Just a few more. And legs to the floor. Hands next to your chest, press back to child's pose with your arms extended. If you need to get water or just rest a little bit, you can pause the video, I'll wait for you here. If you're ready to continue, go to all fours, tuck your toes and lift your hips up for downward facing dog. From here, roll forward to up dog. Bend your elbows for chaturanga, knees on the ground. Inhale, lift your knees, exhale knees to the ground. Inhale up. Exhale down, two more, inhale up, exhale down, last one, up and down. Go back to child's pose. You can repeat this exercise, two series of four reps, or you can try the next one. This is even a little bit more challenging. Tuck your toes, lift your hips up and get ready. Inhale. 
Roll forward to up dog. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, plank. And exhale, down dog. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, plank. And exhale, down dog. This is a reverse vinyasa. Keep going. Chaturanga, plank, and up dog. Just one more. Bend your elbows, plank, and downward facing dog. Take a rest for a moment in child's pose. That was great. Roll your spine up and stretch your legs in front of you. We're going to work on our abs now. Feet in the ground, knees bent. Sit tall and exhale. Roll your spine down to the floor, vertebra by vertebra. Interlace your fingers behind your head and tuck your tailbone as you flatten your spine to the floor. Inhale and exhale, crunch. Exhale, crunch. Inhale down, exhale, crunch. You can leave your feet on the ground or lift them up to tabletops for a bigger challenge. Inhale down, exhale, crunch. We have just a few more. Chest is open, back is imprinted in the floor and toes are pointed. Lower your left foot to the ground. Inhale, extend your right leg. Exhale, left elbow to right knee. Inhale down, exhale, side crunch. You can lift your left leg grounded or lift it about 45 degrees to work your lower abs harder. Either variation is good. Whatever you are, focus on keeping your lower back on the ground, chest and elbows open. Can you crunch a little bit higher? Inhale, extend and exhale, crunch. Other side. Right foot can be on the ground or you can lift it up 45 degrees. Whatever variation you choose, it's okay. Just try your best. Inhale, extend your left leg, exhale, crunch. Inhale, extend, exhale, crunch. Just a few more. With every exhale, try to get as high as you can. We're almost there. Bicycle crunch for one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just ten more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Keep your legs in tabletop. Relax your head. Interlace your fingers behind your head. Inhale, tap your toes to the floor and exhale, knees up. Inhale, down, exhale, up. You can keep going like that or you can add a upper body crunch. Exhale, crunch everything up. Inhale, tap your toes. Choosing not to crunch doesn't make you weaker. Listen to what your body needs right now. On this last one, crunch up. Extend your legs about 45 degrees and hold. Breathe. Just a little bit more, point your toes. Hands behind your head, cross your legs. Inhale, shoot your legs forward and cross your legs. Exhale, cross your legs and crunch. Inhale, shoot them forward, uncross them, and exhale, change the crossing and crunch. Keep going. Don't give up, we're almost there. I know this is very hard, you're doing great. I know it burns. This is your last one. And hug your knees, relax your head to the mat. Massage your lower back, rocking side to side, or whatever feels good. You did amazing. That was great. And good news, we're done with the ab series. Extend your legs, extend your arms overhead, and roll up to seated. We have one last strong push. 
five minutes more and a nice relaxing stretch is coming. You can do it, it's just five minutes more. Make your way to down dog. Cross your right leg behind your left, shin to calf. Inhale, up dog, don't sink into your shoulders and exhale, up dog. Inhale, roll forward to up dog and exhale, go back. Can you reach your right hand towards your ankle? Just two more, inhale, up dog and exhale, down dog. Maybe you can reach, maybe no, it's okay. Last one. Back to plank, roll into the side of your left foot and reach your right arm towards the sky for side plank. Inhale, reach your top arm overhead and exhale, touch your hip. Keep going. Inhale, overhead, exhale, touch your hip. You could also stay in a static side plank, finding your balance. Or you could lower down to your forearm if your wrist hurt. Find a variation that works better for you. Challenge yourself, but also listen to what your body needs. Don't torture yourself. Last one. And with control, lower your hips down, get down into your forearm, and move your legs forward, toes pointing to the corner of your mat. Mermaid crunches. Exhale, crunch. You could lift both legs straight at the same time, bend your knees or lift your top leg only. Inhale, lower down and exhale, crunch. Arm reaches overhead, shoulders are away from your ears and your back is nice and straight. Feel like a beautiful and graceful mermaid. Forearm is pressing the floor strongly. We're almost there. Last one, lay all the way down on your side, bottom arm extended, inhale, lift both legs and scissor kicks, bring your legs as high as you can, just a few more, that's the last one on that side, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and legs together with control to the floor that's it for that side let's stretch it out a little bit bend your knees lift your torso up to sitting inhale arms up and exhale bend to your right open your chest inhale back up again and exhale bend to the other side shoulders away from your ears Go back to center and make your way to the other side. This is your last push. Let's do it. Go to down dog, cross your left leg behind your right, shin to calf. Inhale, up dog, and exhale, down dog. You know how it goes. Core and shoulders are active all the time. Can you reach your right ankle with your opposite hand? Exhale, down dog. Inhale, up dog. This is your last one. Open your chest, push the floor, and exhale, down dog. Go to your side plank. Open your chest, reach your arm towards the sky. Inhale. Inhale, arm reaches overhead, and exhale, touch your hips. Choose whatever variation you need. You could also rest your knees on the ground. Try lifting your hips a little bit higher. You can do it. We have just a few more. Hips a little bit higher. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale and exhale, that was the last one. With control, 
bring your hips towards the ground, forearm to the ground, reach your top arm overhead and bring your legs forward. 10 mermaid crunches. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, with control, go down. Keep going. I have a love and hate relationship with this movement. It is very, very challenging for me, but I like imagining that I'm a beautiful mermaid doing this pose. That helps me keep my legs glued together during this movement too. Almost there. That's eight. Nine. And ten. Take your legs all the way down, extend your bottom arm, lift your legs, and scissor kicks. Last push, stay strong. Lift your legs as much as you can. Ten more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Legs together and release them to the floor. Bend your knees and go up to sitting. Inhale, arms up, and exhale, side bend to the right. You did it, you did all the workout. Inhale, back up, and exhale, go to the other side. Now, don't skip the stretch, you really deserve that. Your body needs a really nice stretch after all that hard work you did. Let's sit with our legs crossed. Left arm reaches to the right in front of you and hold it with your right and gently pull it towards you. Shoulders roll down and breathe deeply out and in through your nose. Change your side and pull your arm towards you. You can close your eyes and start relaxing. Long breaths. Make your way to down dog. Hips up. Inhale, right leg up. And exhale, step your foot between your hands. Low lunge. Big inhale. And exhale, extend your front leg, half splits. Inhale. Low lunge and exhale, half splits. Inhale, low lunge and walk your front foot to the left for pigeon pose. Make sure your hips are squared and if that feels good for you, you can fold forward. Let go of all the tension in your hips and breathe deeply let the ground hold your weight hands to the floor right leg up to three-legged dog and exhale foot to the floor left leg up now step it forward for low lunge Inhale there, and exhale, half splits, stretch your front foot, flex your foot. Inhale, low lunge. And exhale, half splits. Back knees in line with your hip. Inhale, low lunge, walk your foot to pigeon pose. Square your hips and choose whatever variation you feel your body needs more. Try closing your eyes and just relax, just let go. You did a great active job today, you need to relax a little bit. Go back to your hands, swipe your left leg up to three-legged dog and foot to floor. Sit down and place the soles of your feet together for butterfly. Ground through your seat bones, sit tall, open your chest 
and bring it a little bit closer towards the floor. Just go as far down as your back lets you go. If you're rounding your back, just go a little bit higher. These stretchers are a little like a gift you're giving to your body after all that work you did. Breathe through it and enjoy it. Sit tall and extend your legs for a wide-legged fold. Feet are flexed, knees rolling back. If your back is a little bit hunched, bring your legs a little bit closer together to sit tall. Inhale there and exhale, bend to the side. It doesn't matter if you can't reach your foot, focus on keeping your chest rolling up to the sky and grounding through both seat bones. Inhale back to center and exhale other side. Breathe deeply, enjoy the stretch. Roll your knees back. Inhale, sit back up and exhale. Walk your hands forward as you keep your knees rolling back. Feet are flex and lower and upper back are nice and long. Slowly go back to sitting, legs together, feet Sit tall, inhale, reach your arms towards the sky, and exhale, melt into your legs. If your hamstrings are very tense, you can keep your chest up and your knees slightly bent to work on getting those hamstrings a little bit more flexible. You don't need to go all the way down for this exercise to be effective. Inhale, sit back tall, and exhale, roll your spine vertebra by vertebra all the way down to the floor. Extend your arms to the side, bring your knees to chest, and twist to your left, look over your right shoulder. Palms are facing the sky. That's a nice twist for your back. Inhale back to center and exhale, twist to the other side. Make sure both shoulders are touching the ground. If they're not, you can lower your knees a little bit closer to your hips. Inhale back to center and exhale, foot to the floor, extend your leg, palm face towards the sky and relax. Relax your feet, relax your legs, relax your hands, your chest, your back, your face. Take a big inhale through your nose and exhale through your nose, close your eyes. This moment of full relaxation is very important for balance, especially after a strong class like the one we had today. You did great. Stay here as long as you need. Thank your body and mind for all that they do. I thank you for practicing with me. See you next time. Namaste.